comfortable bedfellows because the one normally seeks the other. What is the point of having a lot of money if you have no power? So very quickly, rich people start trying to translate that wealth into power. They start cozying up to politicians. They start trying to be politicians. And the opposite is also true. What is the point of having all this power and you're poor? So politicians start trying to monetize their power into wealth. And that is where corruption starts. So the relationship between money and power really is one that, if not managed well, destroys countries. And it's, it's a difficult relationship because the one inevitably leads to the other. And how do you manage that? We, we face that challenge now. I think as First Lady, the question I always get asked is, how are you going to make sure that your business interests don't conflict with your existing role? What my husband and I have decided is we're going to do declarations. It's not required of me, it's not required of him, but we will declare all of our assets. And in that way, people can know what you own, where it is. I don't want to hide through proxies. And they can see where the wealth that you have has been created and not have to suspect you each time you buy expensive things that you stole it from the people. So declaration of assets, transparency. And communication are key issues in leadership. It's a double-edged sword. I don't necessarily want everybody to know what I own and how much it's worth, but I guess there's a bigger price um, to leadership at times. But it also comes down to a personal discomfort.